You did set some renovation goals and you planned, planned, planned like we discussed in the previous videos. Now it's time to start your renovation. I'm going to give you a few tips to start and manage. Um, these are the links for the previous videos if you missed them. My first tip is really just start. Just start the renovation. Um, I can't blame this property, but that was the hardest thing for me. And if my friend didn't encourage me to start, I would postpone it as much as I could. Um, the previous renovation I've done, I had the same problem, even though it was, you know, just a basic cosmetic touch renovation for sale. Um, so, you know, just starting a big project or small project like that can take a while. Um, especially women, you are the nest makers and you also have all of the skills you need um, for renovation. So just start. Second one is know yourself. Like many other women, I have organizational skills skills and I find it's easy to manage a project um, and multitask at the same time go on with my life. Um, so a builder can finish the project faster for you uh, but if you do it by yourself if you project manage yourself in my opinion from my experience project goes a lot more smoother and also you can arrange it ac according to your own schedule and around your life and kids and work. Now that you have started the project, you will realize all of the challenges <laughs> that comes with it. Um, my biggest challenge was, you know, all of the tradies work for other people too. I mean, obviously they do have to work for other people and otherwise your cost would be three, five times more. Um, so you have to respect their time and you have to find tradies that respect your time. So when they, you know, cancel the job to squeeze in another job um, that pays maybe more, it's really unethical and also that's going to ruin your whole project. So try to find right people and don't, don't forget, you can always, you know, change even though projects started. Make weekly lists and tasks for yourself and for tradies. Uh, manage this as any other project you would manage. So try to be professional. And this is going, if you can bundle the tradies tasks together on one day, this is going to reduce your cost and also project is going to finish faster. Make sure you're all on the same page. Communication is key for any project management. So it's a good idea to talk to your tradies about what's coming up next, what are the tasks for ne next week, uh, what are the tasks for other tradies or um, any correspondence with your suppliers, any delivery issues you might have. Um, just make sure and, and also your plans, just communicate everything and don't assume that they're going to read your SMS messages. Um, use a couple of channels to communicate and make sure you are heard. Be specific about your renovation details. Don't forget, design is in the details. And if you can't communicate them well, then there will be mistakes. So just make sure that you explain everything. Actually, you might think that you explained it very clearly. You might even think that, you know, oh, you drew the big picture of the renovation and everyone can see the final result like you do. But believe me, that didn't happen. Um, so make sure you explain, explain, explain uh, before the project. When you first start the project, just communicate all the details. Safety first. Make sure you um, know all of the possible hazards. I know it's not possible, uh, but it, especially if this is your first renovation, uh, you may not be aware of some of the possible hazards. So um, good idea to get the um, build owners, builders, uh, you know, the certificate uh, required in Australia. Um, and also when you create an environment, you know, caring environment for your tradies, Tradies are also aware of, you know, health and safety issues for their own job, so they, they will be helpful. Plan details to avoid mistakes. Um, 
you know, everything I told that tradies can make a mistake, they did make a mistake. And I can't emphasize the importance of, um, you know, just communication um, and just using many channels. Some of the mistakes we did manage to avoid through communication and careful planning. But it is important that you're available on the site because they might have some questions that you need to answer. And if you're not there, it's going to be, you know, they're going to call you once. And if you can't answer, that's it. You know, they have to finish the task and they have someone else's job. They have to continue next day. So I work as lecturer and during the lecture hours, I cannot answer my phone calls, obviously. And I remember getting many calls and mistakes happened as a result. Some we did and fixed it, some we couldn't fix. And if you can't fix, you will end up either living with that design you don't like for a very long time, or it can be very costly to fix. Stand by your decisions, make the decisions beforehand and stick with them. You can change your mind and it's okay, but have the answers ready for your tradies. And that's how you look confident. Check your budget. I know you hate hearing that and I emphasize this so many times, but you know, renovation can go really, really crazy. It can double the cost, triple the cost, and you won't even realize it if you don't check your budget. So now that you're paying everyone, um, again, regularly check your budget and stick with your budget. Don't sweat the small stuff. Um, there will be some issues, changes in the project, tradies can cancel the job, you may not get your delivery. Or don't worry about you know, your kids not getting their daily nutrition. It's all okay. If you just you know, worry too much about all of that, you're going to burn out very soon. These are some of the top skills you will need to manage a renovation. First one is organized. Um, then be strategic, you know, see the big picture and also keep an eye on the final goal. Um, it's important to stay calm under pressure and also most important one, especially for women, is being confident. Um, some men find it hard to work for a woman and um, you just have to be confident and firm. Um, it's better to avoid them instead of dealing with them. Our how-to series will continue and don't forget to subscribe to help this channel.